May I step in with the lovely lady in the front? Yes. Yes, super. So I have a male stepping in. Um, okay. Uh, I feel like I'm with a husband. Would you have a husband in spirit? Super. I'm sorry. I'm talking to you. Um, and I feel like he would have been around 5'8 to 5'10 height-wise when he was here on the earth plane. And I put him in a regular build. He likes me to use the word regular. Okay, so it wasn't too big, not too small. He wants regular. I feel like he liked the word regular. I feel like he liked to be a regular guy. And that was really important to him. Do you remember that about his personality? Um, didn't want to be too loud. Do you remember that about him? Yes. Okay, good. Um, he's still that way, but he did have a good sense of humor. Okay. Um, he had friends. He had a guy friend he was pretty close with. He had male friends. And he did like to spend time with them. And he needs you to know that a couple of them are already up there. One of them is from, I feel like he's also with somebody from elementary school that is up in spirit. So they are together, and yeah, they're horsing around and getting into trouble. And then he just kind of wink, wink at me, okay? So I don't really think he's getting into big trouble, but he just wants to say that. And um, he said he's not getting nagged so much, but he loves you a lot. He loves you a lot. He wants to bring through a lot of gratitude. Uh, he said you did nag him quite a bit, but for his own good, he just didn't know it at the time. He was not a cooperative patient. He didn't like to follow doctor's orders, and he certainly hated the dietary restrictions that they put him on towards the end. Did you recognize any of that? Okay, super. Um, he's telling me that he can eat anything he wants now that he's in spirit. And you're going to ask me, how does he do that? And I said, I'm going to explain to you all I told you about Claire Gusta, right? Same thing up there. He can taste it. And he's not restricted anymore. Um, there's a dog with him. There's actually a couple of dogs with him that I think some are associated with you, but there might have been one with another family member. He's got the dog. Did you have a child who lost a dog? A son or a daughter who lost a dog? Yeah, that's your daughter? Okay, I'm sorry about your dad and your dog, but your dad's got the dog. He's making a point. Okay, dad's got the dog, along with the other ones. Um, so this would be the gra uh, granddaughter, because he's saying, I'm hearing granddaughter. All right, so um, he's going to acknowledge you as well. And you're in college, you just finished college and did very, very well, I'm hearing. Okay, she's a real brainiac, that's my word. But that's the way it's coming through. He said, keep going, I'm very proud of you. Um, grandpa passed before the graduation because he wants to be acknowledged or let you know he was at the graduation, okay? Um, he said he was the loudest one in spirit. Okay. He comes down and gives you a kiss on the cheek. He's saying, Don't, I'm okay, I'm okay. He said, actually, you're more in trouble now because he, he's on top of more things. He's not restricted. I feel like there was a mobility issue with him towards the end. He couldn't go where he wanted to, when he wanted to. Now he's free. So he's watching over. Watch out those boys. <laughs> okay? I feel a very protective man. All right? Um, he needs to let you know you're doing a great job. He's saying thank you for the help you're giving to your mom. All right? He said, you stepped up. He's showing me a metaphor of baseball. You're like hitting them out. You stepped up to the plate, so thank you. And he wants to go back to his wife, though, and says, okay, enough's enough. Go enjoy yourself. As simple and matter of fact as that. Your husband was very matter of fact. Do you remember that about him? Mm -hmm. Yes? Okay. Well, he's still that way. He says he wants you to stop mourning, and he wants you to go out and have some fun. All right? Um, he wants you to know that when you are happy, he actually feels it. All right? Because you have guilt, he's telling me. And he loves you for it, that you love him so much. But he said, it's OK. I want to see you have a good time. I feel like he wants you to have some cocktails or do New Year's Eve or something. I'm seeing stringers. you understand that? OK, I'm seeing stringers. Um, it's, it, this is the other daughter. I'm sorry, I want to acknowledge you too, because your dad's here. Um, so he's, he wants to see you have the bubbly, the champagne, and enjoy yourself. Um, now, your husband was mechanically inclined, I'm feeling. Yeah, you understand that? Because he's telling me he's going to be one of those spirits that manipulates the lead bulbs. All right, so I don't know if it's already started. It has? Okay, he's acknowledging it then. And, and he's enjoying that. Not every spirit I find can manipulate those lead bulbs. 
but your father, grandfather, your husband, absolutely. And I feel like there's a Joe. I want to say the name Joe. You understand that? Good. Um, and Freddie. Is the other name coming to me? Frank. Frank. Okay. It could be Frank. I heard Freddie. Um, you're Freddie. Okay. I heard she Joe. You're, I guess I heard the name Joe, and I heard what I thought was Freddie, but it might have been Frank. Um, Frank is my father. Frank's the decedent? He's my father. Yes. Your father. Yes. Okay, his father more. Gotcha. Okay. So, there's a cousin up there. I'm hearing he's got a cousin up there. You, under, you know the cousin he's referring to? I feel like he's telling me there's a cousin that he's with. Yeah. All right, and he's saying that because he wants you to know the family stays together. Yeah. The whole family. Yeah. He's a very large family. Oh, he's got a very large family. Well, apparently they're all together. He wants you to know the family stays together. Um, I'm, August is a birthday. Yours, he's acknowledging it. Because I'm seeing the month of August and he's showing me a birthday cake with candles. And um, daddy's gonna be there. All right. He'll be at every occasion, but you don't have to set the plate and, and make yourself more work. You used to need to wash dishes if they weren't dirty. Does that make any sense? You, you wouldn't want to put out extra dishes and dirty them if it's not necessary. So he still remembers that about you. All right, so you don't have to put the dish out, but he'll be there. All right, so I want to leave your husband, father, and grandfather with you, with his blessings and his love. He is around, all right? No, he's with you and he loves you and he's doing much better. And he's ensconced in the family, so he's not alone. Because you don't feel he could, you you said he couldn't function without help. Like your help or the daughter's or his mom. Okay, so he wants you to know he's not alone. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm.